Yo, what's going on, guys? Is Pure Gamer here again with another Dragon Ball Z, or not Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super episode review. Uh, now, last week we didn't have an episode of Dragon Ball Super, which kind of honestly bummed me out. But uh, either way, um, we got an episode just um, just uh, like two days ago or yesterday, depending on when you watch it. it doesn't really matter. But I just I just watched it, and it is episode 59, if I'm correct. And this episode kind of talked a lot of what could and couldn't have happened, especially in Z, because um, in this episode, it begins off with uh, Goku Beerus, uh, the Supreme Kaioshin, and uh, I, I forgot. <laughs> all right, Go Goku, Whis, Beerus, and the Supreme Kaioshin, they all go to Universe 10. They go see uh, Zamasu, because Zamasu... In the last episode, we had found out that he was planning on killing um, Gawasu so that he can take the time ring, use the Super Dragon Balls in one time to give him eternal life, essentially, an, un an, an undying body, as they wore it in the episode, or, uh, and, not or, but, and, to also give uh, Zamasu complete control of the embodiment of evil of, of Goku, essentially. That's, what, that's basically what he is with the same ideals as him, so. They go over to Universe 10, where Gawasu and Zamasu are. Um, they're talking to Zamasu, and they're there, they're talking, stuff like that, and then uh, they decide to leave. To try to make it seem as they were just there, or whatever, yada yada yada, it's not that really big of a deal. And Zamasu ends up just sitting there, he's talking to Gawasu, as they actually brought over, um, some tea and a snack for them, a souvenir as they wore it in the episode. And basically, uh, Gawasu is just eating it, you know, and Zamasu, he's there. He's planning out what he's going to do to Gawasu so he can take the time ring and stuff like that. It's kind of obvious. And they're there. They're just sitting there sitting there in space in like a bubble that we had made. And they're just watching so that they can make sure that they have direct proof so that way they don't just end up killing Zamasu. Because Zamasu is the next Kaioshin to be. And they don't want to just like murderously kill him in cold blood just because he has a murderous intent. No, they needed proof for that. And then later on in the episode, after we see that, um, we see just a little uh, funny remark of the Pilaf gang and stuff like that. And they're talking and of what Mai, the younger version of Mai in, in, the, in the current timeline, was going to talk to, was going to talk to future trunks or whatever or stuff like that right but i actually skipped over um so something bef before that what happened before that we go back to the future we go back to the future right and then we see zamasu and goku black talking to each other and basically the entire time they're saying that there's a zero human extermination plan that's basically what they're saying that, that is their plan they're trying to get rid of all the humans and Zamasu brings up the point of if he did if he doesn't kill Goku, he can basically have a, an un, an unending supply of power and he'll become stronger. So Goku Black is becoming stronger somehow through Goku. I don't understand how. I don't. We don't understand why, but he is. And he goes off and says Goku Black. He says that he's satisfied with the power and his power is essentially indefinite I'm not, I'm not even sure if i pronounced that word right but it's 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 infinite let's just say that it's unending and so after that we get a little we get a little peek of what mai is doing and the underground base they have a little moment with with um, the, the two kids and yajirobe and stuff like that and then they go back to the future and like i said um current trunks kid trunks is talking to um um uh, future trunks and he's basically saying like like why are you just sitting here why are you just like not doing anything you know are you mad like aren't you gonna do this aren't you gonna do that he was essentially motivating himself of the of his future self and and ultimately in the end of the episode uh future trunks uh, is like oh yeah i uh it, <laughs> i can't believe that like the smaller version of me actually motivated me to like try to fight as best as i can so that way i could win no matter what to protect the people that i care about and that's and that's pretty awesome you know and then uh 
rewind that a little bit before, previously before the last scene of the episode. Um, we go back to uh, Wee Spirits, uh, Supreme Kai, or the Supreme Kai Ocean, and Goku. And you're sitting there. They're just, they're just watching. You're watching Zamasu and Gawasu. Just, they're just waiting to see if he's going to kill him. And ultimately, he does succeed. But for for people who don't remember, because I actually forgot. I don't know why I forgot, but I forgot. Whis can actually reverse back time. He's got a do-over. The, the do-over time thing. I forget what it's called. But he can basically reverse time by a few seconds and that's what he does he reverses time so that way he can get the proof that he needs to prove that Zamasu was going to kill Gawasu and they pretty much just have him and, and they, they pretty much caught him red handed and they go ahead and destroy them now the thing that actually really surprised me and I got a couple of goosebumps from that I still kind of have him a little bit but I thought that Zamasu and Goku were going to fight. I thought Goku and Zamasu were going to have a little fight, and then, of course, ultimately, Goku was going to win. No, it was actually Beerus, the god of destruction himself, who completely eradicates him from existence in one fucking blow. And that was... It was kind of scary, because to think that someone of that strength could just erase him from existence, essentially, was absolutely insane. But then uh, the three of them, we Beerus, and Goku, they go back, they explain, like, oh yeah, Beerus did this, that, and the other, and stuff like that. And the thing that really caught me off guard was uh, Beerus or Whis, one of, the, one of the two, they said that basically the future would be put back to normal of how it was after the androids had been destroyed. Now, the thing that really surprised me was that, you know, Goku, uh, not Goku, I'm sorry, Trunks is like, no, because th that's not how it works, you know, Be uh, like, because when I went back to the future, uh, the androids weren't destroyed, uh, you know, after yada, 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 and dumb shit like that, right? But the thing that really, that like I said, caught me off guard was Beerus said, or we said, I think it was we, we says that because uh, Beerus is a god, if he takes something from the current timeline and erases it, it completely disappears in the future as if it never existed and so we're just sitting here and we're waiting until the next episode just basically saying is that actually going to happen is goku black and zamasu in the future just completely gone and that's what we're wondering right that's what we're wondering is is that actually a reality did that actually is that actually gonna happen you know is zamasu and goku black gone and future trunks uh, timeline Excuse me, I burped a little bit. Is basically just put back to normal of what it actually is. Now that we're gonna have to wait until next week. I think next week there should be an episode, but if there's not, uh, keep a lookout on a specific video um, sometime this week maybe, and I'll let you know. And um, I want to go ahead and apologize real quick. I think I, I think I may have said this in the beginning of the video, but most of it I probably didn't. But um, I want to apologize for kind of just like the lack of content because so far um, Destiny, The Rise of Iron has completely took, taken over my life and I just put so many hours, you know, like the raid, it came out a couple days ago and I plan on doing that. If you guys want to see a live stream of that, let me know. If you guys want to see more episode reviews of Dragon Ball Super, uh, be sure to subscribe for that and leave a like if you actually do enjoy these videos like these because I actually personally enjoy doing these episodes. Oh, not these episodes, these videos on reviews of the episodes for Dragon Ball Super, just because it kind of brings in a little bit of discussion of the community and my thoughts and opinions about the episode. And honestly, it's just Dragon Ball Super has just been really good so far. And I am excited to see what else is going to happen in the future. Also, an update on um, on Xenoverse content. I think I may have talked about this before, but I actually really want to do Xenoverse content, but I didn't want to do uh, the first Xenoverse game, just because like everyone's already made content on that game. I did pre-order Xenoverse 2, though, so that means I get the Future Trunks 
from Dragon Ball Super and I also get Goku Black as two playable characters because I, I, uh, I pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition so I get Future Trunks and because I'm technically pre-ordering the Day 1 Edition, I'm going to get Go, uh, Goku Black as well. So be sure to look out for a little bit of Xenoverse, ga uh, Xenoverse 2 gameplay when it does come out, which is October 24th if I'm correct. Um, uh, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong or not and tell me the actual date if I actually did get it wrong. Or tell me if I did get it right. I don't know. I'm actually kind of curious. But anyways, this is going to wrap up the video. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a comment of what else you want to see on the channel. Um, so probably sometime around this week, I should be streaming, uh, the, uh, not the King's Fall Raid, but um, the Wrath of the Machines Raid on Destiny Rise of Iron. If you guys want to uh, check out the stream, be sure to just come out whenever I'm live and just enjoy. But anyways, end of the video. It's been Pure Gamer. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.